AmpRepairGuy.com, also HarbachElectronics.com. Please like, share, and subscribe. So I ended up cleaning the workbench off. Got a couple amps there. I'm waiting on the final payment for the SB220. It's on its way. I have a 922 to work on. Um, so I have a, an Ameritron I'll probably work on later. I'm waiting on, actually I have to order parts for the Kenwood. So I'm probably going to put my radio up off the bench somewhere, same with the power supply that can go below, clear up more space. The Collins stuff has to come off, just can't do that right now. Um, I have my tools, I need to figure out a place for those. I used to have a magnetic strip at the other house to organize them. So I'm going to work on the 6000 box a little bit. Uh, I'm going to try to mount the filament transformer in the Variac, and I have the Supercon connectors. These are awesome. I see a lot of people using studs. They go through studs, and that's really not the best way to do it. So I have a whole bunch of these. These are 100 amp ones. So these mount to the panel. There's a ring terminal, the wire, crimp, solder, heat shrink, and uh, this plug. I don't know where the other one went, right here. This is a taken apart the wire in here, tighten the set screws, the Allen set screws. Actually, um, I solder it too. I'm just really picky about my connections, so this is what it looks like together. So I don't really care. This is AC, just using what I have. Budget build, right? So those are the 100 amp ones. And then for the external uh, plate supply, you know, for the uh, line switching of the plate transformers, I'll use this. This is a 250 amp one, so hundreds right on the edge so I'll use the 250 so have them why not right so you got the filament transformer and I'm going to use a variac to fine tune it it says multiple primary taps I have close to 250 here so put on the 240 tap and I will um, fine tune it with the variac okay so the inside here, remember I'm trying to reuse as much as I can. That's a control board. That's the old uh, rectifier bleeder resistor board that was mounted to the oil cap. Use the same cap they use in the Alpha 77 SX and DX. It says mercury contactors, those will come out. I'm going to use a 100 amp one and another one. So I'll have a couple. You know, one for the main start, and then there will be one for the, um, well, you know, you have the soft start one, which will uh, short out the soft start resistor, then the um, second one will engage, you know, the switch side, so. Okay. Got the uh, line transformer, I'm, I'm not transformer, I'm sorry, line filter. That one will stay in. Um, this will probably run on two circuits. I've done in the past in some amplifiers and this one will come out um, so this also ran on two circuits one for the uh, plate supply one for everything else so they're the old soft start resistors I can reuse those actually I might change I'll probably have to change the value so okay so filter caps are going in this area we'll have the EBM PAPS blower that's going to hang down from the top cover for this compartment. Filament transformer is going to go in this area. I have to play Tetris before I can, you know, I have to make sure everything's going to fit and everything before I start mounting everything. You know, in my mind, I need to plan it all out and make sure everything is correct, all that, yada, yada. So I'm going to utilize these stock mounting nuts um now that the uh you know plate the, the original plate transformer was housed right here uh this was an 8877 rf generator at one point so i will uh use angle aluminum or something else or plate so i can hopefully reuse those if not i'll utilize uh the ones over here it just depends on how i do it i very will probably go here so okay so i'm gonna get to work and uh start planning it out and uh, I'll show you the progress little by little okay so there was an interlock right here I don't know if I reuse that or not but this when you have that much capacitance it's not a bad idea I mean I'll put a resistor in series with one side uh, to the chassis but 
you know, putting a hard short on those would be really bad. That's just to protect, you know, if one of the bleeders open and you've touched that, you touch those caps, you're you're gone. I mean, even a lot less than that, you're you're all done, you know. So um, I also have a um, there's a interlock switch, uh, the high voltage, uh, you know, the B positive and B negative cables go up through a conduit to the top. I'll show all that later on. So. Hi, right, so I'm gonna get to work and um, this is the hardest part, planning all that out and then connecting everything's easy and then uh, reusing the old circuitry. I'll have to look at the schematic and do that, you know, one wire at a time. But I, I marked, you know, have the, uh, you know, cable going up to the top and I have all those wires connected in the top. I documented everything so I know what's what down here and then I'll have to reconfigure whatever. And uh, okay, so. I'm going to get to work. See you soon. Please like, share, and subscribe. So I did some work. I got everything done that I said I would. So, got the two super 100 amp SuperCon connectors installed. There was a strain relief for a cord here, and there were some studs that I had to remove. A few I had to drill out. They ended up snapping, but... So I'm just reusing this cabinet when I make them for people. I use a new cabinet. So here's the, the adjustment for the Variac to fine-tune the filament. Runs on 240. You can see I've got a gap between the shaft and the side of the transformer. That's phenolic and there's no high voltage here anyway. So secondary leads will go from transformer right to the SuperCon connectors and then the center tap the cathode return will connect to the infinol connector, which goes up to the top. So I cut two of these pieces. I think they're two and a half inch wide, um, eighth inch thick aluminum bar stock, and I drilled uh, five sixteenth holes, actually oversized holes, to go through the stock mounting locations for the plate transformer, and then I drilled holes for quarter inch bolts and I have washers on each of them on the other side a split washer and same over here same thing so that thing is sturdy and I have quarter inch hardware holding the variac to the back wall so I have the plan I think I'm gonna put the other super cons either here yeah probably here either here or down here and then it'll have a twist lock plug for the um, the lower current uh, 240. Okay, so I'll explain all that when I get to it. But these are coming out. They're just leaving everything connected, so less work um, to figure things out. Um, so, yeah, the breaker broke. It's just when I touched it, snapped right off. So, filter cap assembly is going to drop right in. And, um,. So it's looking good. So that's it for now. I have other stuff to do. Actually, I have to take a break. So, I think I said before, this is from my own personal app. Yeah, it's plywood. Uh, I didn't point out that the caps do not touch the wood. They're actually isolated from the wood. Okay, so there's a gap. And these are nylon. They're not metal. So there will be no, this is a non-issue. Never, never ever be an issue. This will never get wet. And again, if this was a customer's amp, I'd use uh, a G10 boxy or something board. So that's about it. So if you if you have an amp repaired, feel free to give me a call. Phone number is 203-892-4119. That's 203-892-4119. And as I promised, I told you I'd get back on this amp. So now I need to uh, do some regular work, and then I'll do some more. So I'm going to try to get it finished up as quick as I can. Once everything's mounted, then it's just about wiring and then figuring out the stock uh, the stock setup and uh, you know adapting what I'm putting into the old stuff. So that's what takes some some knowledge and some time, but I'll figure it out. So again, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. 73s.